YouTube. This is your girl Tina back with another video. So today's video is going to be part two of um, using up some of my makeup items that I have not opened and have not tried out yet. So today is going to be part two and if you have not seen part one I will leave that link right up here. Alright guys so before I get started if you're not already subscribed to my channel I would love for you to become a part of my family by subscribing and by also turning on that notification bell. That way, every time I drop a video, you will be notified. Actually, you will be the first to be notified. All right, guys. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started with this look. All right. So you guys know me. I don't plan my makeup tutorial. I just jump in, dive in, and go with the flow. I just got a couple of new items that I want to use, okay? I already prepped my eyebrows and I already did my eyelid, okay? We're going to jump back into this Jeffree Star Morphe palette. But only this time, I want to get a little bold and use green. So I want to use these three greens right here. This one is um, Drive Through Nate. And wake and bake. So I want to use these three. And then I want to use that one for my transition, which is what's the tea. And then I might go in with this glitter. I don't know. So I'll see how things progress. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with our transition powder. Mm. We're going to start with our transition color. So the brush is going to be my Morphe M504. So if you guys have not seen part one, I will leave it linked for you. All right. And the next color we're going to go into will be um, this Wake and Bake. It's like a, almost a lime green. So we're just going to go into that and we're just going to place this in the crease as well. All right, the next color we're going to go in, let me clean this brush off. It's going to be the dark color. It's going to be Nate. It's just a darker green. We're gonna go. We're gonna still use the same brush. It's the Jaclyn Hill JH33. We're gonna place this darker green right on top of that light green and kind of blend it out, going inwards. So we're gonna go back in with the Morphe M504, and we're just gonna blend everything out. I want to try this pretty vulgar to do a half cut crease and this is new. I have not used this yet. It would be the first time. Okay. Okay, so I put some of the um, concealer on the back of my hand. We're going to go into that Wake and Bake shadow first. Okay, and then we're going to do the same with the other eye. Now we're just going to take this little brush like this, and this is the Morphe M506, and we're going to kind of like blend that out. Going in with the darker green now, and we're just going to pretty much overlap that some. Taking a fluffy brush, uh, eyeshadow one, so we're just going to blend this out. We're going to go in with the Morphe um, M506. It's the same little pointy brush. And we're going to use this black color. It's called Fast Lane. And guys, you have to be really, really delicate with this black. Because once you place it, it's like it doesn't move. So we're just going to take this and kind of build it up. Start off with just a little bit and we're just going to build that. Because if you guys check out my first video I did, you'll see what I'm talking about. 
Okay, and then we're just going to take this and go up with it. Blend it out. Keeping it right on the edge. Okay, now that we get that, let's clean this brush off because I don't want to use this on another color and I got the black on there. So we're going to go back into the palette and we're going to use the dry through and that is the dark color green. Yeah, the next color we're going to use is the gold color. It is uh, Millions. This is a, a glitter glitter. I'm not sure how it's going to work because I'm not going to use glitter glue. Yes, I like it. I'm loving this palette. This is a nice palette. Now that I get that old ticket care of, we're going to go back in with the dark green. And we're going to kind of like do this up here. All right, let's go on and use the eyeliner. This is the Hank and Henry something. Yeah, this is the Hank and Henry eyeliner for the top waterline. This is what it looked like. Okay. So I'm using my makeup remover wipe and I'm just gonna clean everything up here. I wanna do some of this color correcting right up under the eye. Just gonna take this orange concealer and this is not new. I'm going to take this blender and we're just going to blend this out. I want to try this. This is the new, no, this is Nudie's Tenant um, Blur, Nudie Tenant Blur Stick. This is what that looked like. The places I want to blur out is right on here where my pores are. In here. Uh, I don't think it's doing anything. Uh, well, maybe it is. Hold up. Let's put some right over it around the mouth. Oh, snap. It's doing something. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, now that I got my face all set and prepped. We're going to go in with this infallible 24-hour wear. And this is in the color, I don't know, 510. This looks like it might be a little bit too light for me. I'm going to use this NYX uh, Total Control to mix into this because this alone is too light for me. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So today we're going to use a makeup brush. Um, I haven't been using my makeup brushes like I should. So let's go on and use this one. This is the Beauty Secret Brush Makeup Foundation Brush. I'm going to take the rest of it from the back of my hand. And we're just going to blend this out. Oh, yeah. See? Got my perfect shade with that. So, guys, don't be afraid. If you get foundation too light, get one that's like a, a shade darker and mix it to get your perfect color. So... When I use a brush, I just like to pretty much check that out like so. So once I get it all spread out on my face, I go back in with a damp beauty blender. And I kind of like pack this all in. Okay. 
All right, guys, so now for the concealer, we're gonna use our Tarte Tape or uh, Shape Tape by Tarte. This is in the color Deep. This is not new, but my foundation was new. So, and I really like it so far. Because I want to highlight up under my eyes, I'm going to go back into my uh, Pretty Vulgar. This is new, so I'm going to take this and kind of just put a little bit of brightness up under my eye. I don't too much want to put a lot of brightness. Take a uh, um, sponge. See how that looks? Perfect. All right, so for the eyelashes, we are gonna use our Better Than Sex. This is not new, but um, did I get this in BoxyCharm? No, I didn't. Got this from Alta. And I absolutely love this uh, mascara. I don't use it enough. I need to. All right, so let's go on and finish the face too now. And we're gonna, I know I'm all over the place, but that's just me, that's, that's just what I do. I'm gonna use this right here, it's my Revlon. Yep, photo finish, or oh, photo ready. What color? I don't even know. Oh, medium deep. So I want to set every place I conceal. Now, once all of that is set, I like to go in with a fluff, with a fluffy brush, and do the rest of the face. All right, let's. We're not gonna contour today, guys. We are going to do some bronzing. I normally don't bronze, and I think this might be a little too light. Food Spectrum by CoverGirl. I don't know if that's too light, but I don't know. Let's try it. Not gonna hurt to try. All right. They have glitter in it. Mm. Yeah, that's not dark enough, but that's all right. Let's just use it. Okay. I don't know what to say about this. Well, yes, I do. I know what to say about it. It's too dang on light. I need a darker one. We're gonna use blush. I have not used this one. It's called Elamore. Elamar. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Elamar. That's what it looked like. On the inside. Okay. I think I'm gonna use Oasis. That's this middle, this middle color here. Let's see how this performs. I probably had this for like a year. I haven't even used this. And I got it in one of my boxy charm. Start off light. Like I said, you gotta start off light because I am so heavy handed. Oh wow, all you need is just a little bit of that blush. Okay. All right, now that we got the blush on, let's move back to the eyes. For the eyes, for the Waterland, we're gonna be using the In Studio Waterline Eyeliner. And this is my first time using this one, guys, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. This is definitely not a gel liner. Yes, it is. What? It's not performing like a gel liner. It's okay, but to me, this liner is not performing like a gel liner. It's, I shouldn't have to keep going over this. I don't even know where I got this from. I probably got it from um, Target. 
Okay, guys, so we're going to go back into our Morphe palette and we're going to use, we're going to do our under eye here. So I'm just going to use both of these colors here and then the black on the outer. And we're going to go into this black, but we're going to use a different brush for the outer corner for the black liner. This is... I don't know. I got this in one of my boxy charms. So on the outer corner, we're just gonna take this black liner, place it right there, and it's gonna meet up with the wing. Okay. So guys, so now that I got the under eyes taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and put some highlighter on. And the highlighter we're going to use is this Give Them La La, La La Beauty. And actually, I have one. So I have two of these. So this one is mine. And I have one that I'm, I'm putting in my um, giveaway. So this is one that came broken, but I was able to save it. And they sent me another one, so I just give it away. I have not used this. This is the first time I'm using it. Okay, we're just going to use this uh, Morphe M438. Not bad. I like it. Very, very nice. So now we're going to use this same highlighter. Go right on the eyebrow bone. And we're just going to highlight there just a little bit. This is so pretty. Okay, and we're going to use a little bit more of this. We're going to go right in the bridge of the nose. Okay. And just a little bit on the tip. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and put on the lashes. And the lashes that I'm going to use is my Amor, which means uh, love in Spanish. This is what they look like. And these are a pair of my lashes I currently have up on my uh, website and the glue you guys know that I I'm not gonna say I absolutely love this glue but this Ardell glue is really good and this just make everything so seamless like and if you guys like these lashes I will leave my link down below okay guys so let's go on and move in with the lips so the lip liner that I'm going to be using is by CoverGirl, and it is in the color Passion Passion. It's like a red color, okay? And I'm not going to take off my um, lip gloss, leave that on. First time I'm using this lip gloss lipstick. It is Ultra Glossy Lips by ColourPop. This is in the color Imagine. I think I got this in my boxy charm because I don't even purchase color pop anymore like I used to. All right, guys, so we're gonna go in. We're gonna spray our face with this makeup in a bottle, and this is no more, no more touch up makeup. I mean, model in the, no more touch up model in a bottle, uh, makeup setting spray. I used this once before and I love it, but it's so expensive, so I'm just now repurchasing it. Spray our face. All right, guys, so this is the final look. I love it. This turned out really, really nice. I love this look. Absolutely. So if you guys like these type of videos, uh, let me know down below. And if you have any um, requests, let me know that as well. And as always, I love you guys, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.